Honorable Shamfa Kujo, Minister of Sport and Community Development. Assemblyman Wayne Clark, Assistant Secretary in the Division of Community Development, Youth Development, and Sport in the Tobago House of Assembly. Mr. David Roberts, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. Mr. Anthony Isidore Smart, Chairman of First Citizens and other members of the First Citizens Board. Ms. Karen Darbasi, Group Chief Executive Officer of First Citizens and other members of the Executive and Management of First Citizens. Members of the First Citizens Foundation, members of the First Citizens Sports Foundation Committee, distinguished Hall of Famers, our outstanding nominees here tonight, specially invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the highly anticipated First Citizens 2023 Hall of Fame. It's the induction as well as the awards ceremony. Together, under the theme, Celebrate More Than Conquerors, we'll be celebrating tonight the indomitable spirit and unwavering determination of our athletes. We are here at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Trinidad in the city of Port of Spain. My name is Ryan Bechu. And it is my utmost pleasure to be your host this evening. Before we dive into the excitement of tonight, let's take a moment to recognize the incredible contribution, the incredible determination and sacrifice of our athletes here tonight. From early mornings of training to the heart pounding moments of competition, each nominee here tonight has shown unwavering commitment to their sport, inspiring us all in this room to reach for greater heights. So let's all take a moment and give our athletes, our nominees here tonight, a hearty round of applause for their remarkable achievements. It is the 61st celebration of these awards, and today we will be celebrating over 100 youth and senior sporting personalities who have topped their respective sporting disciplines. Over 30 national sporting organizations have submitted these nominations, and to them we say thank you very much for your continued commitment in doing so. Because you ensure that our athletes that represent our country at the international level are recognized and also celebrated for all that they do in representing the red, white, and black on the international sporting stage. So the national sporting organizations, thank you very much. Today, the First Citizens Foundation is also eager to celebrate the extraordinary achievements, as it does year in, year out, of 12 Trinidad and Tobago's sporting legends and to honor their indelible mark on sport by inducting them into the First Citizens Sports Hall of Fame. Upon entry earlier today, our 2023 nominees had the pleasure of receiving their medals from a few of our distinguished Hall of Famers, and we'd like to thank them for their steadfast contributions and for always showing up to support the present generation of athletes. Now, without further ado, Let's take a look at the first batch of our esteemed athletes who have conquered challenges over the last year, shattered records, inspired us all with their remarkable achievements. Nominees, as you hear your names, please stand where you are and accept this acknowledgement, these applause from our audience this evening for your resilience, for your dedication, but most importantly, for the passion you have shown in your sport. nominees for field hockey are Teague Makano and Kayla Braffitt. And the youth nominee is Robin Dash. Our senior nominees for football, Levi Garcia, Victoria Swift, and the youth nominees are Lindell Sween and Jalistra Alexander. Senior nominees from the sport of netball are Emmanuel Russell, Teresia McEachrain, 
and our female youth nominee is Cheyenne Lewis. Let's keep it going for our rugby senior nominees, Nigel Ballington, Katara Monroe, and youth nominees, Elijah Williams, and Zoe McKnight. Bouncing across to the volleyball court, senior nominees, Cameron Donald, Crystal Estelle, and the youth nominees are Jerome Morrison, Luffy Roberts, Here are the senior nominees for Aquatics, Dylan Carter, Sherelle Thompson. Our youth nominees are Nikolai Blackman, Tyler, Tyler Horshu. Speeding down the track, our athletics senior nominees are Jareem Richards and Michelle Lee Ai. And the youth nominees are Imani Matthew, Janae Digans, and in the sport of Canoe Spirit, senior nominee Nicholas Robinson. We ride over now to cycling for senior nominees Nicholas Paul. Alexi Costas Ramirez. And the youth nominees are Sindel Samaru. Makaira Wallace. As we head over to horse racing for senior nominee, Brian Budram Singh. Automobile Sports Circuit Racing senior nominees are Brandon Singh. Sarah Part of Singh. In karting, we have two youth nominees, Aaron Sharma and Naomi Garcia. And in the sport of rallying, senior nominee Craig Sumir. Ending this group, Powerboat Racing senior nominee Jonathan Bute. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, let's have it one more time for the first 38 of our 103 nominees. You know, the first group of these nominees, they displayed great agility and speed over the last year. It's actually been a hallmark of the success that they've been able to garner internationally over the last year. Now I'd like to welcome to the stage the chairman of the First Citizen Sports Foundation, Dr. Terry Alley. He has been the chairman of the First Citizen Sports Foundation for the last five years. Dr. Ali has brought with him to this post tremendous experience in and around not only sport, but medicine. And he is a keen advocate when it comes to anti-doping measures as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome to the stage chairman of the First Citizen Sports Foundation, Dr. Terry Alley. Good night. I'd like to say all protocols observed, and I'd like to welcome you to this gala function. Welcome to this, our annual Sports Awards and Hall of Fame function, where we recognize the top performing athletes and sporting teams for the year 2023. I am sure you can agree that life in the post-pandemic era continues to present its unique challenges, and the world of sport is not excluded. However, I believe that in many ways, we have progressed to be more resilient, more organized, and a more committed society. Sport itself has benefited to a large extent with the reboot over the past two years, and we have been blessed 
by excellent, high-level performances. So much so that we can gather here this evening to celebrate with those who have been more than conquerors. To draw from this biblical reference, when the Apostle Paul wrote the words, we are more than conquerors, in his letters to the Roman believers, it underpinned a period of severe trials in the church. However, he had faith and was convinced that those challenges and trials would be overcome and that they will go on to endure for years to come, which they did. It is this background of faith. It is this background of belief. It is this background of endurance that embodies our theme this evening. Even with sport re well returned to normalcy, our athletes still require immense degrees of patience, above average discipline, and a sense of perseverance that is at the next level. For them, the Greek philosophy of a healthy mind and a healthy body must be evident and sustained. They must not only resolve to be healthy, but to be focused. They must not only set their goals, but along with their sport personnel, they must set out with intent to achieve them. And of course, they must commit themselves to their training schedules with great sacrifice. And so we dedicate these awards to all our athletes for their perseverance, their determination, and their achievements. They are exemplars to our entire society, especially our youth. Many of our young people need a sense of direction, a fully functional moral compass. I'm hoping that ceremonies like these that highlight and reward our athletes, their successes and their achievements, will send a clear message to our entire population that sport is an essential vehicle in maintaining a stable and relatively crime-free society. As I express appreciation for the contributions of all our national sporting organizations, the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, and the First Citizens Sports Foundation, let us stand up and show appreciation for the hard work and achievements of those whose patience, perseverance, determination, and strong will to succeed has been the catalyst for the successes we are celebrating tonight. Athletes, this is your time. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ali. We really appreciate that inspiring message. And we understand, Dr. Ali, that it is not easy to be First Citizen Sports Foundation chairman. I saw you a little bit earlier today. It takes a lot of effort, but we do appreciate all of the work that you put into the First Citizens Sports Foundation. And ultimately, it culminates with the awards which we are here tonight. So thank you very much, Dr. Ali. One more time for the First Citizen Sports Foundation Chairman, Dr. Terry Ali. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage the First Citizen's National Poetry Slam 2023 winner, Mr. Kyle Hernandez, to share his captivating spoken word with us, Get Up. All right. Good evening. I have to admit that I'm a bit intimidated to be in a room with athletes when I'm into poetry. It's thoroughly. But um, I know that a bunch of you, you're going to be well deservingly so recognized tonight. And uh, as a poet, my job is to sort of give voice to the voiceless. So 
I decided to, to write something on behalf of somebody who's probably not going to get recognition tonight. Um, this, this is on behalf of every athlete's alarm clock. <clears throat> Dear athlete, I forgive you. Oh, strong. Okay. I forgive you for every time you got mad at me for doing the thing you wanted me to do in the first place. I didn't realize that when you said you wanted to wake up at four, you meant 20 minutes past four. I didn't realize that night you and morning you is not the same person. And I know I can be noisy and that you're trying to sleep, but do you have to put the pillow over me? You know, sometimes I just feel like you over me and over the years, I put up with your snoring, ignoring my calls every 10 minutes, like, hey, wake up. Nah, give me 10 minutes. Dream in your half time, but it's pre 10 minutes. And when you're late for practice, oh, the alarm didn't go off. You just upset me. Half of the time, you don't even remember to set me. But let the stopwatch time your personal best, you will sing he praises. Who you think gets you up in time for all of our races, even in the face of greatness is ungratefulness I face with? But I can't lie, you are great. When everybody else dozing off, you are awake. I see how you silent mode the sacrifices you make, how you, do, how you don't leave the field till you perfect every shot that you take. How you conquer conking out, I don't know. You just push your body to the point where nobody should go. And to be honest, I, I wish I could let you sleep in. But dreams are just that. When you're sleeping and deep in your soul, you know you have a lot to do. With the little that you have, you have a lot to prove. When mountains are mountain, you have a lot to move. And that pressure could get somebody stuck. But not the way your internal clock set up is like something that's go off in your guts. Even when you don't want to, you will always get up. Even when you fell, even when you fall, you will always get up. Even when you fail, you will always get up. And yeah, you might hit snooze sometimes. Yeah, you might just lose from time to time. But your brilliance is your resilience. It will be the thing that takes you up. Just do my favor when you win tonight. Don't forget the one who wakes you up. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Hernandez. I'm sure we can all relate, right, to all the alarm clocks out there? You're forgiven. Thank you very much, Mr. Hernandez. One more time for Mr. Kyle Hernandez. Such an apt spoken word for tonight's proceedings. In the first group of nominations, we saw the characteristics of agility, speed, power, all at play showing us what it truly means to be more than conquerors. Well, in this next group, we see a different skill set that also embodies the skill set under the theme being more than conquerors. It also requires focus. Kyle was sort of alluding to that. It also requires drive, if you have to get up at four in the morning to train. These athletes you're about to, in, to be introduced to represent the quintessence of these characteristics every time they step out onto the field of play or onto their court. Athletes, once more, when you hear your names, please stand where you are and accept the acknowledgement, the recognition of this audience for representing Trinidad and Tobago, the small twin island nation, on the international stage. Let's head for table tennis senior nominees. Khalil Askarali and Rian Chung. And our youth nominees, Malik Gopal. Chloe Fraser. On the bigger court are tennis senior nominees, Akil Duke and Jordine Dukey. Our youth male nominee is Kale Dalacosta. 
of Badminton. Senior nominees are up next. They are Will Lee and Shaqueda Debule. And in the youth category, let's celebrate Vishal Ramsubag and Amara Urquhart. Keeping the rackets in hand, squash senior nominees Don Lee and Rhea Khan. And the youth nominees are Seth Tong and Gia Garan. Let's applaud the senior nominees for chess, Joshua Johnson. Obduiz Hermoso Rodriguez. And youth nominees, Joshua Medina. And Zara Lafleur. We swing across to golf for senior nominees, Christopher Richards Jr. And Chloe Ajoda. Senior nominees in the sports of darts are James Walklin and Karen Ramcharan Scott. And youth nominee Vivek Gupta. Senior nominee for shooting sport Thomas Nicholas. And youth nominees Ayaz Nicholas, son of Thomas Nicholas and Daniela Scott. Our archery senior nominees are Justin Ramkalawan and Alexi Jagannath. And the youth nominee is Joshua Ragbeer. Ladies and gentlemen, our second batch of nominees tonight, let's give them all a hearty round of applause. Incredible work. The First Citizen Sports Foundation Awards has become the pinnacle of sporting awards for athletes and also for fans in Trinidad and Tobago. Who will be Sportsman of the Year? Who will be Sportswoman of the Year? And with that comes a lot of debate. After, tomorrow's back pages, into next week. I disagree, I agree. It's become such an important event for our athletes and for our spectators, for our sports lovers in this country. This evening's event, however, would not be possible, and so many other events in the past would not have been possible without the First Citizens Group. For 30 years, the First Citizens Group has been working with the Sports Foundation, well, for 20 years, but it's been developed in the development of sport for the last 30 years. And I'd like to now welcome on stage the Group Chief Executive Officer of First Citizens, Ms. Karen Darbasi, to give us some more insight into the work that First Citizens continues to do with sport in Trinidad and Tobago. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Group CEO of First Citizens, Ms. Karen Darbasi. All protocols having been observed, please allow me to just say good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For all of us at First Citizens, and of course, under the auspices of the First Citizens Foundation, 2024 marks an incredible 20-year journey in support of, and we hope, in service to the sportsmen and sportswomen of this country. Through the invaluable work of the Sports Foundation, it has been a privilege to provide sustained support, critical opportunities, and very importantly, deserving recognition to the hundreds who have carried our sporting hopes and dreams. We really could not be more proud to witness the Foundation's astonishing success. Of course, 
the Sports Awards Initiatives Initiative, which recognizes the nation's top male and female sporting personalities annually, is, as Ryan said, Trinidad and Tobago's premier sporting accolade. The Hall of, Found the Hall of Fame remains a lasting place of honor and a rich repository of historical data on our national athletes. Of course, not to forget, the training programs offered, many of them for free, have developed countless sport administrators, organizers, journalists, and enthusiasts, while event sponsorships have helped the foundation to support and shape emerging talent. This tremendous and concerted effort is part of what it takes to create and honor generation of conquerors. Yet, as we mark our 20th anniversary and host the 61st edition of these awards, we pause not only to celebrate and reward, but also to invite our athletes to remember they are more than a conqueror. You, each of you, are an inspiration and a role model for the next generation. With social and economic challenges in abundance, and in fact growing across the globe, we are all undeniably in need of heroes. In fact, world representatives at a United Nations General Assembly last November unanimously hailed sport as the solution for building a peaceful and better world. This means there is just as much power ascribed to you, our sporting champions. You stand head and shoulder with other societal leaders, all with responsibility for creating a better world. If then we acknowledge our societies can be made better by cherishing your victories and learning from your values, and at First Citizens, we believe that we can all learn from your drive for discipline, endurance, agility, and focus, then we do, by extension, acknowledge that there is a responsibility on all of us to continue investing in you. And so you have our commitment this evening that as a group, we are looking forward to the continued support of our sporting fraternity. The charge of the First Citizens Sports Foundation to foster excellence in sport remains fervent as its commitment to equip, empower, and support you who help unite our societies and bring much needed hope to our world. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the First Citizens Group, we extend heartfelt congratulations to all our awardees and Hall of Fame inductees and immense thanks to all our partners in sport who have joined us here this evening. Collectively, we can help make a sustainable impact as we continue to invest in the making of conquerors. I thank you. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. The Foundation is responsible for selecting this team or this group. Presenting this award tonight is Ms. Petal Dawn Hinkson, niece of Lystra Lewis. 
This award is named after Lystra Lewis, one of our sporting icons, who achieved international recognition for administrative competence and promotion of netball beyond national and regional boundaries. If we can welcome Ms. Petal Dawn Hinkson to the stage. Oh, there you are. I missed you. <laughs> so the, te the, the team which was selected for this award created history for this country. It was a debut performance at our regional games. It was held last year, 2023. They are an exemplar of our theme tonight, more than conquerors. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to turn your attention to our screen. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the Lystra Lewis Award, the Trinidad and Tobago men's 3x3 three three basketball team, they won bronze medal in the Pan American Games in 2023 held in Santiago, Chile. We have a few members of the team here with us this evening and we're going to ask them to join us on stage. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I'd like to welcome them on stage. We have Moriba De Freitas with us, Chica Augustin, and we've got the coaches as well, Christopher Jackson and Wayne Samuel. Unfortunately, unable to be with us tonight are the siblings Akil and Akim Boyd, but they are such incredible basketball brothers. I mean, we've been reading about them in the newspaper. We've been seeing them on television. Really incredible three by three team. Congratulations once again to the men's 3x3 three three basketball team, bronze medalists at the Pan American Games in Chile, Santiago, Chile, last year. Congratulations, gentlemen. And thank you very much, Ms. Hinkson, uh, for your uh, contribution and being here as well as a niece of the great Lystra Lewis in this country. As we continue to celebrate excellence in sports tonight, we ought to take a moment to remember and pay tribute to the incredible sportsmen and sportswomen who left us during the last year. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the screen to view the fallen soldiers who have proudly represented this country in the world of sport.
May their souls rest in peace, their memories live on and be a blessing. I see so many administrators, former administrators in that video, former coaches, and while they're behind the scenes, their contributions to some of the athletes who sit in this very room, some of the athletes who will be awarded tonight, some of the athletes who went on to accomplish such great things for this country, and we felt so proud of them. It was because of their contributions behind the scenes. So thank you very much for honoring us with all of the work that they would have done and for remembering them tonight. At this time, we would like to introduce our final batch of nominees for tonight's awards. We've talked about power. We've talked about agility. We've talked about speed. These athletes are last but by no means least when we define more than conquerors because they've displayed endurance on the field of play, off the field of play. They've also shown discipline. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attentions to the screen as we welcome our final batch of nominees. Representing Cricket, senior nominee, Darren Bravo. Youth nominee, Brendan Boudou. In women's cricket, our senior nominee is Karishma Ramarak. And youth nominee is Katie Jazz Mitchell. Moving on to the sport triathlon for our senior nominees, Jean-Marc Grandison and Kaya Rankin Beadle. And the youth nominees are Jacob Cox and Janine Marie Price. Sparring over to the boxing ring, senior nominees are Aaron Prince and Tiana Guy. And representing the youths are McKeeve Belil and Rhea John. In the senior category for gymnastics is Jamil Ali. And youth category, Annalise Newman Achi. Our Power Athletics senior nominee, Akeem Stewart. And our youth nominee, Isaiah Williams. Representing the sport, martial arts is senior nominee, Dave Samdio. And youth nominees, brother and sister, Christian Winter. And Chelsea Winter. Karate senior nominees are Yuri Spicer and Rochelle Lufat. Youth nominees are Landon Batson and Cassidy Sam. And in judo, our senior representative, Gabriella Wood. Youth nominee, Aidan Graves. In powerlifting, the senior nominees are Joseph McDonald and Lois Sprang. Let's congratulate our special Olympians, Kadel Cuffey Athletics, Melissa Nanan Athletics, Patrice Penny Equestrian, Nathaniel Lewis Equestrian, Malachi Sylvester Powerlifting, Gaddafi Anthony Powerlifting, Trent Battle Swimming, and Victoria Samuel Swimming. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our final batch of 38 athletes. We have now met all 103 athletes, awardees here tonight. Congratulations to all of you on your outstanding performances over the last year. So glad that so many of you could join us, but also the representatives, the family, the friends of those who unfortunately could not be here tonight. Thank you very much for sacrificing and for joining us here tonight as well.
At this time, I would like to welcome on stage our Minister of Sport and Community Development, Mrs. Shamfa Kojo Lewis, to bring us some greetings. Good evening, all protocols observed. It's a real pleasure and privilege to share this moment with you once again this evening. I want to thank the First Citizens family for having me once again. Since the beginning of time, we have used light as a metaphor of hope, inspiration and resilience. Over the past year, our country, our region and the world have experienced some of our darkest days and most trying times as we grapple with controlling the nasty scourge of crime. It's a different world out there for our youth different distractions, different behavioral patterns, and limited support systems willing to go the distance to provide the necessary support. This is why our Ministry of Sport and Community Development takes pride in delivering programs like the I Choose Sport program supporting sport in schools, the Adaptive PE program for those with special needs, or Shape in Communities program, and our Pink Rain program for women and girls. We believe that parents, teachers, community leaders, governments, not only here at home, but the world over, have a responsibility to employ every strategy and utilize every tool to point our youth to the right direction where they can maximize their full potential and make meaningful contributions to their nation, region, and the world at large. Sport is that tool, tried, tested, and true. It never disappoints. It never fails. Tonight, against the backdrop of all our challenges, we celebrate the stars among us and bask in the glory of their unconquerable spirit, courage, and light. Tonight, I am particularly pleased to lead an industry to support a fraternity which stands on the notion that defeat is never an option. In the world of sport, opportunity abounds, and no matter how grim the outlook, there is always the unbridled spirit determined to win and destined to overcome. Our athletes have conditioned their minds to naturally push against any wave of change and to break down any barrier. They each carry an eternal torch which burns stronger and brighter in times of turmoil, providing fuel for their fire as they journey through the lowest valleys and conquer their darkest hours. Strength, perseverance, and resilience, these are the stuff of which our athletes are made. On behalf of the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, I wish to salute all diligent and dedicated sportsmen and women for keeping hope alive and shining their lights so brilliantly when they could have easily chosen to do and be otherwise. We acknowledge your strength. We admire your passion. We commend your courage, and we remain inspired by your radiant and inextinguishable fame. I especially congratulate tonight's awardees for your exemplary focus, your perseverance, your grit, and most of all, your willpower to truly conquer your respective sporting disciplines. To the indefatigable first citizens, we owe you a debt of gratitude for your steadfast support and unwavering commitment to celebrating our nation's athletic excellence. You continue to be a strong tower, a model corporate citizen, an icon of integrity and a champion for national development and patriotism. Thank you for being that beacon of hope, a force for positive change and an ambassador for goodwill in this world. Tonight, I stand before you a proud citizen and a humbled sport minister. Sport has done us well once again. I will continue to be a driver of positivity, peace, progress, prosperity, and productivity, not only for our athletes, but for our nation by extension. Congratulations to outstanding athletes once again. You are the true heroes of this nation. Keep working. Keep winning, keep flying or flag high, keep shining your light. Our country is all the better because of your vitality and vigor. 
and sport in this country can boast of a bright future because you are certainly more than conquerors. May God continue to strengthen our sporting fraternity. May God smile on the first citizen's family and may he grant favor on each and every athlete. I thank you, God bless you, God bless our nation. Thank you very much, Minister Kojo Lewis, for the work you and your ministry have been doing to the, for the development of sport across Trinidad and Tobago. At this time, we'd like you to direct your attention once more to the screen for what really was a major collaboration between the Ministry of Sport and Community Development and First Citizens for the newly refurbished First Citizen Sports Foundation's Hall of Fame exhibit. I went to Fatima and there were a group of us that I used to go to the savannah every morning before school and look at the horses gallop on the savannah and by doing that I fell in love with the equine athlete. I started off with just five horses and uh, when I retired I had 75 horses. I think I was at the track one morning and Dave Lamy who was on the board I think, the FCB Sports Foundation board, he came to the savannah to tell me that I'd been chosen to be inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame and I couldn't believe it. I was delighted. Not very often horse racing personalities are inducted into the Hall of Fame or even recognized so it was an achievement uh, I thought and I was, I was elated and I really couldn't believe it that I had achieved a position and achieved it in, in racing to be inducted in the Full Citizens Sports Hall of Fame and being inducted among all those great sportsmen that have represented Trinidad over the years. It really is a great honor. True words readily come to mind. I was happy, I felt a sense of pride and I felt valued in that a sport that I love so much, that I just played for the love of it, that my peers recognized me. You know, you felt really good to see you just doing it, not for any rewards or anything like that, and you were recognized for it. On that day of that First Citizen Sports Foundation Award, I felt so emotional. It was a bittersweet moment for me. I was missing my parents because they were so proud of me. I remember if we go anywhere, my mother and I, instead of saying, oh, this is the teacher, she would say, this is the one who plays cricket. And my father, he would say, Stephanie belongs to three teams, you know, her team, the Trinidad team, and the West Indies team. So they, they were proud of me, and I wish they were around to share that moment with me and that First Citizens Sports Foundation Award. I'm so glad that First Citizens um, inducted me in the Hall of Fame because maybe that, that little a light on the other people because three years after I was given a national award for my contribution to sports and culture. So I have to say thank you First Citizens for starting the ball of rolling. Huge congratulations to the inductees of the First Citizens Sports Foundation the Hall of Fame 2024. We welcome you. And thank you so much, Joe and Stephanie, for that trip down memory lane, horse racing and cricket there. You know, it is remarkable to see the faces of so many of our sporting greats, our sporting heroes that have paved the way for our athletes today. I want to encourage you to, when you have some time, to please visit uh, the Sports Hall of Fame, the First Citizen Sports Hall of Fame exhibit. Uh, you will not be disappointed. It's at the Hazley Crawford Stadium in Port of Spain. Uh, you know, it, you can learn so much more about our icons of sport, and we have so many, such a rich history in Trinidad and Tobago, the sportsmen and women who've really paved the way uh, for what we enjoy today. So please, if you have the time, uh, I would encourage you to a fantastic field trip. Uh, have a look at the First Citizen Sports Foundation's uh, Hall of Fame exhibit at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. 
Now, talking about heroes, it's time to immortalize our sporting heroes and chronicle their history in the Sports Hall of Fame for 2024. As they step forward to receive this prestigious, this prestigious honor, let us salute their extraordinary accomplishments and let us celebrate their outstanding legacies. It's so important that while we have such incredible athletes of today, that we also remember the incredible achievements that they made yesterday. I would like to invite back onto the stage the Honorable Minister to present the medals to our sporting legends tonight. Inductees and representatives, when you come on stage, please, uh, to collect your awards, please pause for a brief moment to take a picture and also hold on stage thereafter for a group picture, and then you can head back to your seats. So, ladies and gentlemen, our 12 Sporting Hall of Fame inductees for 2024 are as follows. First up, Candela Bermant, Administrator. Ms. Bermond is known for her administrative work in Special Olympics and helping persons with disabilities. She served as Executive Director of Special Olympics Caribbean from 2002 to 2009, where she was instrumental in establishing long-term goals and developmental initiatives for lesser developed Special Olympics programs in the Caribbean and oversaw the inaugural staging of the Special Olympics Caribbean Games in Jamaica. That was back in 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Bermond. Mr. Gordon Board, Administrator. Mr. Board has worked as an administrator for over 40 years for the then Amateur Swimming Association of Trinidad and Tobago, now called the Aquatic Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Given his long competitive swimming career, Mr. Board used his experience and influence to advance open water and swimming, helped initiate the Las Cuevas Bay to Maracas Bay swim, and race around five islands. Miss Candice Scott, Athletics. Miss Scott reckoned amongst the elite female hammer throwers in the world. Between 2002 and 2008, she tossed with the best of the best at the Olympic Games and at the World Athletics Championships. In 2005, Scott's personal best for hammer throw was a TNT national record, 71.45 meters. Her best toss of the shot put was 17.28 meters best shot put mark was 17.65 meters in the indoor arena and her indoor personal best of 20 pound weight that was 24.17 meters miss candice scott miss cleopatra borrell athletics Miss Borrell dominated the Americas in field events, particularly for shot put. She medaled in the 2015 and 2011 Pan American Games, the 2010, 2014, and 2018 Central American and Caribbean Games, the 2014 and 2006 Commonwealth Games. She is an Olympian having competed at, get this, four Summer Olympic Games and six World Championships. Qualifying four out of six times for the finals. Unfortunately, Miss Borrell could not be here with us this evening, but she really has become a household name in this country. Mr. Mark Burns, Athletics. Mr. Burns is considered Trinidad and Tobago's most outstanding male track and field athletes of the 2000s era and is a sizzling individual sprinter in his own right. He has medaled numerous times both individually and with relay teams in the men's 100 meters and 200 meter events, as well as the 4x1 meter relays. He represented this country in numerous events at the Olympic Games, World Championships, World Junior Championships, Pan American Junior Championships, CAC Junior Championships, and Carifta Games. Throughout his stellar athletic career, Mr. Burns, thank you so much for your incredible contribution to Trinidad and Tobago sports. Leslie Stewart, boxing. Global champion, Leslie Tiger Stewart, as he is known, was part of the golden period of boxing in this country. That was during the 1970s and 1980s. Yep. 
Mr. Stewart captured numerous titles, including the 1982 Latin American Lightweight Heavyweight Crown, 1984 South Florida's Light Heavyweight Title, and the WBC Continental America's Cruiserweight Crown. He won the 1985 Commonwealth Lightweight Championship and the WBA Light Heavyweight Belt. Since his final, in, final fight in 2000, Stewart has served as a boxing coach working for the Trinidad and Tobago national team. Mr. Stewart, it is people like you that keep our boxers in the ring and out of bad situations across the country. Thank you very much. Mr. Quan Dwayne Brown, hockey. Labeled the most talented, skillful, and outstanding men's field hockey player out of this country during the 2000s and 2010s, Mr. Brown was introduced to the game by his aunt, Anne Brown John, Hall of Famer, legendary cricketer, and field hockey player for TNT. His ability was recognizable to all, and he was selected for TNT under 21 squad at, guess what, the age of 14. His national team appearance totaled 329 appearances over his career. He gained MVP and top scorer awards and led the TNT men's team to numerous medal finishes in the Central American and Caribbean games. He went on to be selected for the Premier Division Dream Team in England and won the English Hockey Player of the Year awards in 2001 and 2002. He now coaches the Great Britain men's hockey team. He is represented by his sister, Sasha John. Mr. Edmund Defratus, trainer in horse racing. Mr. Defratus was a top jockey during the 1960s and 1970s, attaining 516 wins across the Caribbean. As a trainer, he continued his victory streak, enjoying 409.5 victories from 7,194 horses, saddled earning over $6 million, and the Edmund Defratus Gold Cup renamed in his honor. Currently, he operates the Bonanza Farming Farm Riding and School Country Club in San Rafael. He has been an owner and breeder himself and has tutored apprentice jockeys and gives riding instructions. Thank you for your contributions to horse racing, Mr. Defratus. Mr. Charlie Joseph, coach. Following his success as a track athlete, Mr. Joseph developed knowledge on the nuances of dealing with the bends and turns of the 200 meters and 400 meters, plus the baton exchanges for the relays. His use of his, this knowledge during his coaching career ascended him to head coach of positions in multi-sport events such as the World Junior Championships, the Olympic Games, the IAAF World Relays, Commonwealth Games and Pan American Games. Joseph oversaw the development and success of some of the 2010 legends of local track and field. Names like Kishon Walcott, Jareem Richards, Dion Lendor, Marshall Cedeno, Asa Guevara, and Kyle Grew. He is out of the country and he's represented this evening by Mr. Charles Semple. The late Pearl Gooding, Athletics. She is represented by her nephew, Ansel Gooding. Miss Gooding was among Trinidad and Tobago's first prominent female athletes competing in the second edition in 1947 of what was then known as the Amateur Athletics Association of TNT. When, get this, two women's events were included on the slate for the first time. Miss Gooding won both events and successfully captured numerous titles throughout the 1940s. The late Pearl Gooding. The late Dion Lendor, Athletics, is represented by his sister, Leon, Leah Johnson. Dion Lendor made an impact in sport during his short time here on Earth. His performances in the men's 400 meter event and the men's 4x400 meter event really led to numerous medal finishes for this country at the 2012 Olympic Games, the 2015 World Championships, the 2019 World Relays, and the 2016 and 2018 World Indoor Championships. He was a gifted individual, quarter-miler, that was revealed to all at the 2008 Carifta Games. Lendor tragically lost his life in January 2022. The late Devan Mahadeo, Special Olympic athlete, and administrator. He is represented this evening by his brother, Narish Mahadeo. Devan Mahadeo defies the odds despite his disabilities. 
He was a Special Olympian for Trinidad and Tobago, specializing in football, floor hockey, cricket, and floorball. He went on to make his mark as a coach, as well as serve in the administration of sports for Special Olympics in both Trinidad and Tobago and across the Caribbean, before his passing on January 23rd, 2023, following a brief illness. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our sporting heroes, our sporting greats as they pose with the Minister of Sport and Community Development for a group photo. Congratulations once more to our new inductees of the 2024 edition of the First Citizens Hall of Fame. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much to the Honorable Minister Shamfa Kujo Lewis as well for helping us distribute those medals. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. The 1995 Sports Hall of Fame inductee for the sport of hockey, she will present our tokens to the top 10 youth finalists. Thank you very much, Mrs. Charles Montano. And just to give you a little background on Mrs. Charles Montano, she played for our national women's hockey team at numerous regional and international tournaments. In every instance, on every tour, she would be among the top goal scorers for her country. And when she retired from competitive play in 1978, she was the top goal scorer across any Caribbean nation, having played over 100 internationals during her distinguished career. For her service to hockey, she was awarded the Hummingbird Medal Gold in the sphere of sport in 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, another sporting legend in our midst tonight. Awardees, as you come on stage, please pause for a brief moment to take a picture and please remain on stage for a group photo after where we will announce the winners. First up, we will announce the top 10 youth awardees in alphabetical order according to their sport. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikolai Blackman, Aquatics, for his 50 meter freestyle title at the World Aquatics Junior Championships in Netanya, Israel. Nikolai is away pursuing his studies and preparing to qualify for the Paris Olympic Games. His father, Mr. Bertram Blackman, will represent him this evening. Next up. Now we have Mr. Imani Matthew. He is from athletics and he is for the champion and national record for long jump titles made in the NACAC championships. His brother Omari Primus represents him this evening. Miss Jane Degans for athletics and for copying a long jump silver medal at the Commonwealth Youth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. Congratulations, Jane. Sindel Samaru, cycling for his standout performance in last year's Commonwealth Youth Games held right here in Trinidad and Tobago and earning silver in the sprint and bronze in the Kieran events. Amazing work, Sindel. Makaira Wallace. Cycling, another Commonwealth Youth Games Trinidad and Tobago success last year. 
claiming silver in the Kieran event. Kudos to you, Makaira. Chloe Fraser from the sport of table tennis. She was instrumental in assisting Trinidad and Tobago women's team to qualify for the CAC Games, also medaled at the Caribbean Youth Championships. Way to go, Chloe. Next up, Amara Urquhart, badminton, for her outstanding performances in the Caribbean Junior Championships, gold under 17 singles, gold under 17 doubles, silver mixed doubles event, are just a few of her winnings in 2023. Congratulations, Amara. Vishal Ramsubag, badminton. For his remarkable achievement on becoming Trinidad and Tobago's first men's under-19 singles champion at the Caribbean Junior Championships. Well done, Vishal. Brendan Budu, cricket. For his MVP accolade, captaining Trinidad and Tobago to victory in the 50 overs competition during the West Indies Rising Stars Under-15 Championships that was held in Antigua and Barbuda. Brendan could not be here with us this evening, unfortunately. Makiv Balil, boxing. For his victory performance at the Caribbean Schools Junior and Youth Championships that were held in Guyana, earning Best Male School Boxer Award, very, very impressive, McKeel. And now we have our full list on stage top-notch performances that are just absolutely amazing. This is Sandra Charles Montano. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Let's have another round of applause for our top 10 youth nominees, ladies and gentlemen. So we are here, the moment we have all been waiting for. I'd like to invite on stage the Group Chief Executive Officer of First Citizens, Ms. Karen Darbasi, and also the First Citizen Sports Foundation Chairman, Dr. Terry Ali, to present the Youth Sportswoman and Sportsman of the Year Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2023 Youth Sportswoman of the Year. Let's take a look at the screen. Renee Degans, Athletics. Congratulations to athlete Janae Degans, the 2023 First Citizen Sports Foundation's Youth Sportswoman of the Year. Congratulations, Janae. Now it's time for our Youth Sportsman of the Year. Let's go back to the screen. Our 2023 Youth Sportsman of the Year comes from swimming. It is Nikolai Blackman. Congratulations to Nikolai.
Thank you very much, Mrs. Thank you very much, Mr. Arbisi, as well as Dr. Ali. Congratulations. Please pass on our congratulations, Mr. Blackman, to Nikolai. And you gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. 1989 Sports Hall of Famer, inductee for football. His name is associated with scintillating play while wearing the red, white, and black, then creating brilliant play while coaching the red, white, and black. In 1973, he copped this very title of Sportsman of the Year and was later honored as well with the Hummingbird Medal Gold in 1987. Ladies and gentlemen, our legendary Mr. Everett Galley Cummings. Great to have you with us, sir. Thank you very much. Awardees, once again, as you come on stage, Please pause briefly for a picture with Mr. Cummings. And now to announce our top 10 senior awardees in no particular order. Dylan Carter at Aquatics for obtaining his qualification win to book his spot for a third time at the Olympic Games scheduled for this year. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us here this evening. Then we have, I, my bad, I should have said Mr. Teague Marcano first, who is here for field hockey. Uh, he was the MVP award following his top score of 17 goals in the five Pan American Cups in Jamaica. His mother, Lisa Hernandez, will be representing him this evening. Then we have Mr. Dylan Carter, who is on his way to the 2024 Paris Olympic Games later this year. He obtained qualification with a, booking his spot for a third Olympic Games. So congratulations to Dylan. Unfortunately, he could not be here with us tonight. Now we have Mr. Jareem Richards, Athletics. Jareem captured gold in the men's 400 meters at the CAC Games in San Salvador, and he clocked a personal best time of 44.54 seconds. Unfortunately, Jareem could not be here with us here tonight, but it is very much the height of the indoor season, and he's heading into the outdoor season as well. Next up. We have Michelle Lee Ayi, Athletics. Yet another Paris Olympic Games bound athlete. Ayi's bronze medal finish at the Pan American Games in Chile secured her that spot. Her mother, Raquel Ayi, represents her once again. It is the track and field season, so our athletes are out in different parts of the world representing us. Next up, Nicholas Paul in cycling for his sprint gold at the UCI Nations Cup event in Milton, which topped his long list of achievements for 2023, also booking his spot for the Paris Olympic Games. His father, Darren Paul, accepts the award on his behalf in his absence. He is away competing at the moment. Alexi Costa Ramirez, cycling. For her second place Omnium finish at the Pan American Track Championships, her mother Esther Costa represents her this evening. Joshua Johnson, chess. Noted for his record book performance where he earned a silver in the men's first rapid board event, representing this country in the first staging of the Central American and Caribbean Games in El Salvador. Quite impressive, Joshua. Karishma Ramarak, women's cricket. For her breakout at the top levels of women's cricket at the ICC Women's T20 World Cup held in South Africa. Way to go, Karishma. Darren Bravo, cricket. 
He topped the batting stats during the Super 50 Cup tournament, and he is represented by his sister Dixie Ann Bravo tonight. Akeem Stewart, Para Athletics, for his gold medal performance in the men's discus event at the Para Pan Am Games that took place in Santiago, Chile. Kavita Ramisa, representative from the Paralympic Association, collects on his behalf. What remarkable performances, representatives from the Paralympic Association, thank you very much. Remarkable performances over the last year from our senior athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the top 10 senior finalists. Mr. Cummings, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So we have our top 10 awardees, and we are now ready for our big reveal of the night. I'd like to now welcome on stage the Minister of Sport and Community Development, Mrs. Shamfa Kujo Lewis, as well as Mr. Anthony Smart, Chairman of First Citizens, to present the Sportswoman and Sportsman of the Year Awards. Everybody's ready? I guess not. The 2023 Senior Sportswoman of the Year, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look at the screen. It is Michelle Lee Ayi. Congratulations to Michelle Lee Ayi. Her mom, Raquel Ayi, will be collecting on her behalf. Congratulations once again to Michelle Lee Ayi, her mom, conducting on her behalf the 2023 Sportswoman of the Year. Now, our final award of the night, and here is the big reveal, our 2023 Sportsman of the Year. Let's have a look at the screen. It is Nicholas Paul. The 2023 Sportswoman of the Year, Michelle Lee Ayi, and the 2023 Sportsman of the Year, Mr. Nicholas Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Mr. Smart, Minister Kujo, Mrs. Ayi. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. Appreciate it. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. 
You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. Your dedication to our guests tonight. Thank you for joining us in honoring these remarkable individuals among us. Ladies and gentlemen, until we meet again, May the legacy of our sporting heroes, so many that we have to revere in this country, we don't have to look very far, they're right in our country. May they continue to inspire us all to be more than conquerors. And now, as I exit, I hand you over to Kwame Lawrence, Sport Foundation member, to hear the winner's reactions. Over to you, Kwame. Thank you so much, Ryan. Congratulations, I have with me the Youth Sports Woman of the Year, Jani Digans. Jani, what's your feeling? Um, I'm really elated right now. It just shows that once you put in the hard work, trusting God that anything is possible. World Junior Championships this year, what's the plan? Um, just to continue to stay focused. As I said, we'll continue to work hard, listen to my coaches, and I think that's the plan. Thank you, Jani. Congratulations. Thank you. I also have with me the father of Nikolai Blackman, repeat multiple winner of the Youth Sportsman of the Year, Bertram. Now that Nikolai is on the senior ranks, what's the goal? Um, again, congratulations to Johnny as well, and thank you for this opportunity, and praise God. Um, so we're looking at Paris 2024. That's what, what is on the horizon presently. All the work that has been done over the years, 2020 should have been an excellent year for that. And now it's time to cross over. I know he's putting in the work right now. Um, next two weeks, the Clyde goes on to the NCAAs. And then after that, we go back into meter swimming at the Pro Series. And then on to that, um, trying our best to qualify for 2024 um, Paris Olympics. Congratulations once again, World Junior Champion Nikolai Blackman, Commonwealth Youth Games Silver Medalist Johnny Digans. Congratulations. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. These days, every dollar counts. And you get enough more for stretch when you collect your money from abroad in a blink with Link. Tell friends and family to send money through MoneyGram and collect it anywhere, anytime on the Link app. Get better rates to stretch your dollar and get the extra things you need. You can collect your cash same time from any NCB ABM or use it in the app to pay your bills, buy credit, transfer money, or shop. Download the Link app today. Life is better with Link. Conditions apply. Olympic Committee, thank you, First Citizen, for nominating Michelle Lee for the fourth time. Thank you. Congratulations, Michelle Lee Ayi, Pan Am Games, 100 meters bronze medalist in 2023. We have the father of Nicholas Paul, Sportsman of the Year. Nicholas, of course, silver in the sprint at last year's World Championships. Firstly, we know Nicholas had a fall in the carrying at the Nations Cup in Hong Kong. How is he? Um, a special good night to everyone. I would like to say um, thanks for the award. And in regards to your question, he's doing well. A matter of fact, if it's about 9 o'clock now, He's on the line, I think, just now to represent the country once again. Yeah. A true warrior, Nicholas Paul, after falling in the Karen semifinals. He's back on the track tonight, Trinidad and Tobago time, flying the flag for Trinidad and Tobago. Olympic year, a big one for Nicholas. 
how are plans going? How are preparations going? Well, um, it's a special year for him because, I mean, he has capped a lot of all the major medals already and he really has set his eyes on an Olympic medal. So his preparation is going good and as August comes, we just um, pray and hope to the best. Yeah. Congratulations again, Michelle Liahi, Sportswoman of the Year, Nicholas Paul, Sportsman of the Year 2023. So bringing the curtain down with some spectacular entertainment, our members of the Lydians singing their rendition of Hall of Fame and DNA by Mikkel Teja. On behalf of First Citizen Sports Foundation, I bid you all good night, get home safely, and may the spirit of sportsmanship and achievement guide us all in our endeavors. Thank you and good night. Drop a back and all it. Madness in the capital. Oh, I feel like we're running town again. Chop and chain the ground again.
Jump Chicago hot like fever Cause we are getting more and more Western Union 24 winners will win two season passes for Champs 2024 Collect two or more Western Union money transfers in store or using the GK1 app From February 9th to March 11th for a chance to win Copyright on the section 50 of the betting game in a lottery You gave us the inspiration to be first We gave you the solutions that put you first you trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. These days, Every dollar counts, and you get enough more for stretch when you collect your money from abroad in a blink with Link. Tell friends and family to send money through MoneyGram and collect it anywhere, anytime on the Link app. Get better rates to stretch your dollar and get the extra things you need. You can collect your cash same time from any NCB ABM or use it in the app to pay your bills, buy credit, transfer money, or shop. Download the Link app today. Life is better with Link. Conditions apply. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. Join the growing number of scene subscribers and keep in touch with everything from the Caribbean, including the ISSA schoolboy football season, exclusive from Jamaica. Call your cable operator and ask for Scene TV via Optimum in the Northeast U.S. market and Bell & Rogers in Canada or come straight to the source at www.scene.tv and pay $4.99 a month. Be at home, away from home. Subscribe today. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. Rejection most times is the redirection we need to unlock our truest potential. Even the other day, I'm in my closet, I'm balling the whole place. <laughs> but you have to pick up yourself. Life puts us in some uncomfortable and unexpected situations, despite our efforts and plans. I mean, I lived a shame that wasn't even mine. So how do we look at failures as opportunities? How do we deal with life's uncertainties, identify some losses as wins, all while not labeling ourselves as total losers or failures? You'll find out right here on Redirection with Terry Carell. Redirection with Terry Carell is now on Scene TV, Thursdays 7 p.m., 8 p.m. ECT, with a repeat on Fridays 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. ECT. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. This broadcast was brought to you by First Citizens Bank. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. 
We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. These days, every dollar counts. And you get enough more for stretch when you collect your money from abroad in a blink with link. Tell friends and family to send money through MoneyGram and collect it anywhere, anytime on the Link app. Get better rates to stretch your dollar and get the extra things you need. You can collect your cash same time from any NCB ABM or use it in the app to pay your bills, buy credit, transfer money or shop. Download the Link app today. Life is better with Link. Conditions apply. You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side, and we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. Twenty-four winners will win two season passes for Champs 2024. Collect two or more Western Union money transfers in store or using the GK1 app from February 9th to March 11th for a chance to win. Other than the second fifty of the betting game in the You gave us the inspiration to be first. We gave you the solutions that put you first. You trusted us with your vision. We paved the way with innovation. You walked with us side by side. And we continue to serve you with pride. First Citizens is proud of everything we've achieved together. We made dreams a reality, shaped success stories, and painted brighter futures. And together, we'll accomplish so much more. First Citizens, we put you first. Introducing ProPet Dog Food, the obvious choice for happier dogs. ProPet comes in five sizes with the perfect mix of raw protein, calcium, and fiber for tissue repair and muscle growth. ProPet's delicious beefy flavor will have your dogs barking for more. Choose ProPet for a soy-free diet, excellent taste, a higher source of energy, and happier, healthier dogs. <laughs> Twenty-four winners will win two season passes for Champs 2024. Collect two or more Western Union money transfers in store or using the GK1 app from February 9th to March 11th for a chance to win. Other than the second fifty of the betting game in the lottery. Now check it out. You know this is Christopher Martin, and you're in tune to Scene TV. Scene, don't you know you get to a move on and race? Life to me lemon and I made lemonade. Most expensive thing I tell you. Keep it locked. Seeing TV. Jamaica Magazine, weekdays at 7:30 p.m. on Scene TV. Join the growing number of scene subscribers and keep in touch with everything from the Caribbean, including the ISA schoolboy football season, exclusive from Jamaica. Call your cable operator and ask for Scene TV via Optimum in the Northeast US market and Bell and Rogers in Canada. Or come straight to the source at www.scene.tv and pay $4.99 a month. Be at home, away from home. Subscribe today. Jesus, the blood of Jesus will never lose his power. Start your Sundays with breakthrough deliverance. Sunday mornings at 8.30 on Scene TV. Tonight, 
the two contestants with the lowest votes, unfortunately, will be going home. Not a great note to start the show on, but good evening. I'm your host, Terry Carell, and this is the Digicel Rising Stars Results Show exclusively on TVJ. Last week's show was legendary. It was a night filled with hits from some amazing artists. And then there was a surprising addition at the last minute with the introduction of another wild card. What a night. Now, before we look back at last week's show or talk to our judges, let's give away some amazing prizes courtesy of Digicel. I can tell that this season is a favorite because you guys are really voting. Our level one winners who voted from one to five times this past week and will be collecting a Samsung A03 and $1,000 call credit are Karima Brown, John Blake, Petrina McDonald, and our level two winners who voted six to 10 times last week and won for themselves a Samsung A04, $7,500 cash, and $1,500 call credit courtesy of Digicel are Michelle Murray, Joyce Davis, John Williams. And our mega voter prize goes to this person who voted more than 11 times and will be collecting a Samsung A24, $15,000 cash, and $2,000 call credit from Digicel is Paulette Johnson. Congratulations to all our winners. We want everyone to have a chance at taking home our wonderful prizes. And all you have to do is send in those texts and calls for your favorite finalist. Remember to download the My Digicel app and vote with ease. Just click on Digicel Rising Stars and everything you need is right there. Votes cost $20. The judges were in their element last